Hello, good morning. It's very early. I need to go to the airport so I can get on a plane. Um, it's dark here, but by the time I achieve anything, I guarantee you'll be light. Please come with me. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. Terminal 5. I know she's in the airport before, but I haven't seen one since March, so. Amazing. See, it's Christmas and it's sponsored evidently by Nokia, as everything seems to be at the moment. It goes back down to the trains. And I'm just waiting for a gate number. Welcome to Munich, or rather, some station west of. Uh, this is where I change, I've just taken the S-Bahn from the airport and this is where I then get the local service which is known as Bob. Yes, Bob. And that takes me out to the mountains and the lakes. So, we're further south now. Just coming into the hills. Or Bavaria, obviously. We are in southern Bavaria. It's getting more alpine. Still, Still nothing particularly high here, but um, we're not far away now actually. This is Schliersee, which is the main town on the bigger lake. Uh, the bottom of the hill basically is to where I'm going, so I've got one more stop and then I need to get a bus. And then we go. Then mountains, there you go, it's slightly more mountainous. So I made it. Um, I have to say that seemed to me to be one of the easiest journeys I've ever done. Now, it's not to say it was quick because it's about eight hours or so since I actually left the house, but effortless is probably a good way of describing it. Probably helpful German transportation, which is, as you might imagine, very punctual. So um, I'm in Spittingsee, which is a tiny little town uh, next to a mountain lake um, in the southern Bavarian region of Germany. Um, Alpine? I'm not. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess it's Alpine. Uh, we're very close to Austria. We're about seven, eight kilometres away and in fact one day I actually hope to walk to Austria. So look out for that. Um, I'll give you a quick tour. So here we have a very large room, which is great. Uh, desk and internets and what have you. Um, it's all very Bavarian themed. You know, lots of woodwork. The air is very pure here. It smells lovely when you get out. Um, nice and, you know, cosy, cosy bathroom. So there we have it. Um, so I think it's about half three, so it's only going to be light for another hour or so. So I figure I should go for a quick walk around the lake, um, which you can see from my balcony. Oh yes, that's the main building there. You're looking at the main part of the hotel. I got a free upgrade, obviously, because I am awesome. So I have now this lovely lake view and mountain view. I mean. They're just hidden a bit because of the cloud. There's a bit of snow up there. We'll go and see some snow at some point, no doubt. In fact, it may even snow in a couple of days, which would be amazing. So, right, I'm going to go for a wander. So this is Spittingsee. Spittingsee. I'll show you how it's spelled in a minute. Have a listen to how quiet this place is. Yeah, that's just the bus's engine. That's the only thing. It's beautiful. It's a bit snowy up there, that's the church. It's very misty up there. So we're just going to go for a quick wander around the lake, I figure, before it gets dark. See what it's like. Take some snaps. Take some deep lungfuls of air, because I think that's really why I'm here. Fresh air. I mean, there's almost nobody in my, uh, my part of the hotel. I, fi I think I might be the only person in it. <laughs> I have a whole wing of a hotel to myself. Amazing. So here we are, halfway around the lake. So it's not a very big lake. That's that's very true. Um, where's the hotel? Uh, 
and I'm in that uh, new wooden bit there. Anyway, so it's raining because we're up in the clouds up here. You can see the tops of the mountains are hidden. Um, who knows what the weather's like in the valley? That's the thing about being in the mountains. You never have a clue. But uh, it's this wonderful smell that you only get in the Alps when it's wet and it's woody and it's beautiful. I think that's where I'm going to go head off to tomorrow. That's kind of towards Austria. So these look very familiar. I mean, most all over the Alps in every country they have these. They're walking paths and timings, um, which is very helpful. Now, I'm completely out of season, as it were, so that's presumably why there's nobody here, which means the ski lifts most probably won't be working uh, because there's no snow. Well, a little bit up on high, but there's basically no snow. And, um, and it's certainly not summer season. So, no problem. I kind of wanted to be here to be secluded in the middle of nowhere, so being out of season is kind of perfect. Um, I'm going to go and have a look. That's a Taubenstein, I believe. I'm going to just go and see whether they got any opening at all, maybe a Monday, Tuesday. And then uh, walk back to the hotel, have something to eat, maybe, and go for a swim. Um, you can join me for a swim, obviously, because I have the Aqua Pack. Um, which is awesome, but it's a lo there's a lovely spa there, so that should be truly amazing. And uh, my brain hasn't quite got used to the fact that I'm actually in Bavaria, but there we go. I'm sure tomorrow morning it, it shall. Let's hope for some nice weather. This is how you get from one building to the other when it's too cold outside. It's a tunnel. Let me just show you the spa as well, slash swimming pool. I mean, you'll see it hopefully in a bit, you get an idea of where everything is. But right now I've got to go get something to eat, because I'm hungry. Hungry me. Anyway, I'm outside, I'm only wearing a shirt and it's bloody freezing. And in what might be considered an unamazing move, I've overeaten can't see me now, can you? What about now? Guess I've eaten too much. Hang on, let's go indoors. Because it's bloody cold. Um, yeah, because it was a, a, f a four course menu and so I had all four courses. <sighs> now I'm feeling really full, which means I can't go for a swim. <laughs> I need to lie down, <laughs> to be honest, it's half nine local time, which is half eight uh, in uh, the UK, um, but still, <laughs> I'm exhausted because I got up at six or something or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to bed now, so um, I'll see you in the morning, bright and early. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> as you can hear, I've got a bit of a bit of a cold thing. It was inevitable uh, it was going to come on because their crystals had it for ages. Not a big problem, <coughs> it's only a bit of a throat and it looks lovely out, so let me show you. I mean lovely in a wintry way. There's actually people on the lake, which is crazy. I'm going to head off that way later on towards Austria and we'll see how far we get. Right now, brother, it's time for breakfast, so that's what's going to happen. So we're off. Um, I say we, you you don't have to do anything. I'm doing the walking, you're just doing the watching. Um, I'm heading towards Austria. That sounds excessive. It's not. Um, it's about seven and a half kilometers along this trail. That said, whether I get there or not really depends on a couple of factors. Um, the path itself, the weather, and how long it takes. Um, but we're going to try. So I was going to attempt to illegally cross into Austria. Watch this space. Here we go. See, this is the route. So we are by the lake. Spitzingsee. I'm going to go along. I notice it says Nach Österreich to Austria. 
So let's go. So this is the river that runs out of the lake down towards Austria and as you can see it's frozen which is a little surprising because to me it doesn't feel quite that cold. Um, it's clearly not much above zero but it is above zero and the mists are descending and this is where I'm going. That's a bus stop believe it or not but um bus doesn't seem to be running at the moment <laughs> unsurprisingly. So off to Austria we go. Hi. Um, th there's a load of massive pipes here and I don't know why. I think they use it to pipe the water backwards and forwards um, between the villages. So there you go. So you all know where Christmas trees come from? <laughs> it would seem here. There is loads of little baby ones. Hopefully mine at home haven't died entirely. They'll look like that soon. And there's lots of frozen waterfalls here as well. Um, again, doesn't seem like it's cold enough to maintain ice at the moment, but the forecast is that it will um, it will snow either tomorrow or Tuesday, which would be nice. I'd, I'd love to see it in the snow. I'm just glad I managed to get one walk in with a bit of sun. It isn't freezing, first of all. Um, we're almost in Valep, which is just this side of the border. Um, be there by lunch. <laughs> because everything's driven by meals, as always. Here we are, the metropolis that is Valep. Technically all it is is a restaurant, the very last restaurant before Austria. Oh, and there's a church, can you see a church? I'd also be amazed if this restaurant is open. What with it being <laughs> December, in the off season, in the middle of nowhere. There's no ski runs, even if there was snow which there isn't. Anyhow, not doing badly time-wise and I'm rather warm. <laughs> That's not something I thought I'd be saying before I started. There we go though. Just come up the hill to the little church and now onwards. It's still before midday and I'm still like a kilometre and a half or two from the Austrian border which is, to give you some context, he says, trying to work out. I think basically at the foot, foot of that hill, that mountain in the gorge ahead. That's what I reckon, let's find out. Now, just in case you were wondering why they decided to put the border here, and I'm sure you weren't, <laughs> there's that rather huge mountain so basically the border's just beyond the gorge. Um, so you'd have to be pretty energetic to feel like you were going to actually, whilst you could cross the border, to actually get into Austria properly would require a fair bit of hiking that most people aren't prepared to do. So let's give it a go. So here I am. I'm in Austria. I just walked into Austria. In fact, I've never seen such an unguarded border in my entire life. Um, in fact, it's not just that it's unguarded. There is literally nobody for miles. Um, I've come about seven and a half kilometers and uh, just to prove there's nobody for miles, see if you can hear the echo. Yodelai, oh. There we go. No response. Um, now, I know what you're like, you're the cynical type, so you're thinking, he just said he's in Austria, but he's not in Austria, me, 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 me. So I'm gonna show you a sign that proves it. You see where it says Ostreich? As in Austria, that is German slash Austrian for Austria. So, there you go. And now I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to cross the border. So come with me and I'll prove it. So here I am at the border, now let me show you ever so carefully. As you'll see, in the bottom left hand corner, there is an Austrian flag, because I'm in Austria. Clever piece of kit this, and watch what happens. I walk across the border. There we go. Now it's a German flag, it's as easy as that. See, look, you want to see that it's Germany? You see the sign behind me, it says Deutschland, and all that, yes, brilliant. Um, so there we go, and look, just to prove it, do it again. Germany, 
Austria nearly fell over that time. And back to Germany again. See, ever so easy. That is how to be an illegal immigrant in the new Europe. It's good, isn't it? Now the sun is out and it is early December and I'm in the mountains and it's supposed to be snowing but that's not happening. Now I just stopped there, the place that we looked at just on the way back, just had something to eat. Um, I often do this thing where I just can't be bothered to translate it and so I order it and then halfway through eating it, it suddenly occurred to me what it was I just ordered. Um, it was Leberknudel. And for those of you that don't speak German, it's a liver dumpling. So imagine a big ball the size of my fist of liver in a brown, murky soup, presumably made from stock of uh, some sort of offal. That is what I ate. Now, I wouldn't necessarily call it the most delicious thing I've ever had. But um, it was what I needed. It was had some meat and some liquid, and sometimes you can't ask for more than that. So interesting. Uh, very, very local. Um, served by a woman with a nice moustache, with a very low voice. Um, you know, mountain people. I like mountain people. So there we go. Now we're going to head off back home. Hopefully, we'll be there in an hour or so. Just stop for a quick refresh, a bit of water from the stream and the rest of the Edam, what I nicked from breakfast. Um, let's go with my giant liver thing that I ate. I'm just heading back a slightly different route because it just looks a bit more interesting. And uh, shouldn't be too long actually. I mean, it says that the route is about two hours and a half to the border. In reality, it's two even with stops. So it says it's an hour and a half back from here but I'll be, get, I'll be there in an hour most likely. <laughs> Famous last words. So we're back pretty much. These are the outskirts <laughs> of Spitting Zay. I say outskirts. These are the two houses before the other two houses. So uh, that was an amazing, amazing walk. I don't know how long it is yet, but probably somewhere in the order of 15 or 16 kilometers so far. And I need to lie down, honestly. Oh, I can smell what they're cooking. Probably up in the Grizzlies. Oh, that's too good. Oh, how will I survive until dinner? Welcome to the pool. Uh, oh, it's a lovely temperature as well. Really nice. Just makes you want to sort of sink into the thing there's the big water spout which just turned off over there and there's these the big water jets push the water down the end of the hole oh, it's just what I need though lovely Hi, um, just had dinner. It was uh, amazing again and I ever ate. It's only a couple of courses, but oh, that's a lot of macaroni cheese on the side there. Uh, so that's delicious. I'm just walking back now. It's rather dark, hence the touch in my face. Um, and there's nobody here. Listen to that silence. It's epic. So, I'm off. Um, most likely to bed, to be honest. It might only be half eight, but... Uh, it's just exhausting. I did about 16 kilometers today, so it's probably enough for the time being. 
so I'll see you in the morning.